were surprising people with some wacky wedding proposals. Now meet Dave. Dave wants to trade in his long-distance relationship with his girlfriend Becky for a lifelong commitment. Now, Dave, tell us how you and Becky met first. I met her first. Uh, I was playing with the monkeys. I, I'm a keyboard player for the monkeys, and I met her after a show. I saw her in the audience, so... Uh, the, mo the monkeys, the monkeys, the, the monkeys, group. yes. The well, monkeys. Actually, last year was just Davy Jones and Mickey Bones, but hopefully this year will be the 30th anniversary tour, and we'll have all four, so... Be great, that's great. That'd be great. How cool. So now, she was in the audience while right. you were playing? Yeah, she's a big fan. She came to, like, five or six shows, and I um, caught her smile in the audience, and uh, took my chances one day, and uh, just introduced myself to her after the show, and just started talking to her. Right. And, and uh, what, what happened after that? Did you become more friendly and everything? Yeah, well, actually, she started writing me letters, and I, they were just regular letters. I just started writing back, just correspondence. You were and on the road? You had left Yes, I was touring on the road, so, you know, I got her letters, and I wrote her back a couple of times. And then I got to meet her at, um, you know, a couple more of the shows, and I actually got to hang out with her at one of the specific show in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We just hung out, and it was just great. We had a really great time, you know. What's so special about her? What's so special about her? She's just a straightforward kind of person. She plays no games whatsoever. She's a sweetheart. You know, um, you know, she's just great. I, yeah. She's a real sweetie. And, and you say that you're really, really in love with this girl. I've never met anybody like Becky in my life. She's just so sweet and so special. And yeah, she's, she's very special. I mean, this is personal, but yeah. you said that she's unique you yes. know, in a special way. Yeah, Tell us about that. She's, got, she's brought up, you know, with very good morals, you know. Um, I met her parents, you know, her parents are very nice people. Mm -hmm. She's raised very well. And um, like I said, she's very honest, you know. She's not playing any games. A lot of the girls I've met before are just like AIM players, you know. Right. It's not very fun. Just, right. It's just great being with Becky one-on-one, -on -one, just her, her being her and not trying to you know, fake anything. Right, she's a real person. Right, exactly. Okay. All right, well, we told Becky, guys, that she was coming on the show today to talk about long-distance relationships. Yes, we did. She has no idea that Dave is about to pop the question. Mm. You ready, Dave? I am ready. Okay, Becky, come on out here. <laughs> now, I understand that you and Dave have quite a long-distance relationship, yes. right? What's that like? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Um, our phone calls, I've had a phone bill that's been up to $400. It took oh, me my gosh. a week, two and a half paychecks to pay it off. So you had so, to work extra to, to, to pay your oh, phone yes. bill off? And the thing is, where I work, they don't allow overtime. So it was pretty hard. But <laughs> um, How is your relationship? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's really fun. Is it? I hear you're like a diehard Monkees fan. Very diehard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. And, and you've been to um, some of his concerts and everything, and you've watched him perform? Oh, yes. Him? <laughs> yes, I have. Is it, I mean, is, is it hard to be away from Dave for long periods of time, when, you know, when he's on the road and everything? Yeah. Um, most of the time we spend on the phone. It's really hard, but... Yeah. Um, like now, I mean, I get to come see him, and next week I'm coming to Boston to see him. So. Good. That's good. Okay. Well, Becky, I have to let you in on something. Okay. Um, now, the topic of today's show is not really about long-distance relationships. Okay. Um, I'm going to let, I'm going to let, leave it to Dave to fill you in on the rest of it, okay? <laughs>
finger. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh. I'll marry you. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Romantic proposal. Was that as emotional as I thought it was? I'm still trying to not cry here. Becky, this is, I, we're, we're, I mean, this is, this is a very private moment, moment in your life, but what, what's, what's going on in your head right now? What are you feeling right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't believe he did this. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> I said, yes! <laughs> did you ever expect this? No. <laughs> I just thought I was coming on here with a whole bunch of other people. Right. And when they called and asked me if I wanted to be on the show, I thought, oh, it's just a big joke. I'm not going to do this. Right. But he told us how special you are and um, just how wonderful you are, how much you mean to him. Wow. <laughs> we are thrilled for you. Yes. Thank you. So your answer is yes, Becky, right? Yes. The official, the official answer is yes. Two for two. That's right. Can't do better than that. Okay. Stay with us because we have more wacky wedding proposals ahead as a barber pops, pops the question to his girlfriend and she's sure to flip her wig. Oh, yeah. That's next. Woo! Yeah. You, too, could be a guest on our show if you or someone that you know had an...